What's up, guys? It's boy DJ. Let me let me let me look back. It's your boy. No, she. Or yeah, just say nothing. And today you're not playing FNAF 4, okay? I hate you, Fred. Hate you, Bunny. And 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 uh, I don't. I I I honestly don't know anymore, but. Okay, sorry, sorry, I have to do something. I have to do something right there. But today we're gonna do another reaction video. Uh, we're gonna be, okay, ignore all of these. Okay, just, 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 just. I'll tell you guys when I get to the video. Alright guys, we're back, and I was, I'm gonna react to Two Girls, One Cup of Ice, by Kingsley, one of my favorite YouTubers. Alright, sorry, the end of the end of the day, I mean, crap, what the fuck, why did I say anime? Why did I say, okay, okay, so basically guys, what's going on right now is that I, Literally playing with my golden hoverboard. Everything you guys are about to hear is a thousand percent true. There are situations in life that we're just thrown into. We just find ourselves thinking, how the heck did I end up in the middle of all this? A lot of you guys have seen this video. A lot of you guys probably haven't seen this video because it's a video I uploaded back in 2009 that I got taken down last year. But I use a lot of copyrighted music in it. Some of you guys might have seen it, but you haven't seen it like this. This is the HD remix. All the animation you're about to see is from my boy Black Sen. Dude's a monster. The story starts with me, my boy Warren, my friend Pam, and my friend Jane. And the plan is for all of us to go see a movie. We're all supposed to meet at Jane's house. So I get to Jane's house, knock on the door, Jane's mom lets me in. Walk into Jane's wait, room wait, and Jane wait, and Pam are in there wait, and they're like standing off the- Wait, did she just say- Wait, did she just say see a movie? We're all supposed to meet at Jane's house. So I get to Jane's house, knock on the door, Jane's mom lets me in. I look into Jane's room, and Jane and Pam are in there, and they're like standing off in the corner, and they're just like mumbling and whispering stuff. They see me come in, but they don't say anything to me. I just figure it's like inside girly joke stuff, whatever. So I sit down on Jane's bed and call Warren. He picks up, and I'm like, hey, bro, I just got to Jane's house, just calling to see how far out you are. Warren's like, oh, you just got there? Okay, well, give me like, give me a few minutes. I'm running a little bit behind, but I'm on my way. I hang up the phone, and I look up, and now Jane is standing directly in front of me, and she has this like, sinister, kinda evil, like a half crack of a smile. The look on her face basically said, I'm up to no good. She leans over to her door, closes it, and locks it. Then she takes her hand, puts it on my chest, and slowly pushes me back onto the bed. She takes my pants, places them above my head, and then Pam swoops in, grabs them, and ties them up. I, I don't know if it was like a sock. I couldn't see what she was tying me with, but it felt like a sock. She put them Girl Scout knot tying skills to the test. Now, as my hands are being tied, I'm trying to process how fast everything is happening, because we haven't even said any words since I walked into this house, all right? Walk into the room, boom. So then Jane grabs the bottom of my shirt and lifts oh the shirt over my face. So now, like, my chest is all exposed and my massive muscles go bulging everywhere. <laughs> Jane gets up, opens the door, leaves and shuts the door behind her. Then all of a sudden, I start hearing Pam move around the room, and then she says, Adande, if you just don't struggle and don't make any noise, it's going to be a lot more fun for all of us. And I'm said. thinking... What the ham hawk and pee funk does that eat? What are y'all about to do to me? So then I hear the door open and close again. I can't, I can't see anything. And then I hear their little girly, like, secret squirrel meeting there. All I hear is, like, murmuring and whispering, like... <laughs> like, what the heck? You know what? I'm just gonna let this happen. See where this goes. And right after I finish that thought, I hear a beep. And then I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Are y'all recording this? And they don't even answer. They just keep giggling like... <laughs> now, at this point, I was going to start putting up a little bit of fight and start struggling. But then I thought, Struggle once this ends up on World Star, they can't see my face. Girls are just going to be watching this and like, ooh, who's this guy on the bed? Dang. But he got a really nice body, though. So then I hear Pam walk around to the side of the bed where my hands are. And then Jane lays down on the bed next to me. Oh There's this awkward oh. silence in the room. And then... All of a sudden, I feel something that's hot, but cold at the same time, 
wet, she starts rubbing ice all over my chest. So as soon as I feel it, I jump up like, ah! Pam quickly grabs me and like puts her hand over my mouth and I'm just like, <laughs> Jane is now like doing the alphabet with ice on my chest and then she just suddenly stops and there's awkward silence again. And I started thinking like, okay, these girls get really quiet, like they're nervous because they're about to go to the next level. And that's exactly what happens. Jane busts out with two blocks of ice, one in each hand, and she's going up and down like the sides of my body. And let me tell you something guys, that did not feel good. That was unwanted icicle assault. Second degree. You know, warm me up to this. I probably would have liked it if you would have like eased me into this, not just assault me and force your ice religion on me. I start making noise again. I'm trying to free myself before they start busting out more crazy stuff. Like they start pouring hot wax on me. I end up looking like Han Solo covered in carbonite. So then Jane like slows down and she takes one ice cube and she starts doing circles around my belly button. And then I feel her fingertips with her other hands creep around the top line of my boxers. Oh, God. And in my head, I'm like, I know this girl is not about to go to the no-no zone. Like, I know this. Oh, yeah. It's about to be too hot for YouTube. Then Jane lifts my boxers, and then all of a sudden I hear, dun, 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 dun. And her mom oh, opens the door. Hey, Jane Warren's hit. Like, parents, you don't. Knock and open the door of the stand. It defeats the purpose. Okay, you knock and you wait for the go ahead. Because Jane's mom pulled the whole knock as I opened the door thing. And guess what she saw? The first thing. Boom. Yup. Jane holding my boxers up. Ice in hand. Very obvious what you're about to do with it. My shirt over my face. And you know, my muscles were bulging all over the place. But they were glistening from the ice. Those glistening muscles everywhere. I'm sure she dropped her cup in slow motion and was like absolutely appalled at what she saw. And that's another thing, like why don't parents ever walk in on us like when we're doing homework or when we're cramming and you know being a good student. They always walk in on us when we're doing some junk that's scandalous. Apparently, Jane forgot to relock the door when she came back in with the ice. So Jane's mom turned and walked away. Warren walks in like, um, did I come at a bad time? Anytime I went to Jane's house for like the next three months, it was so awkward around her mom. Like her mom would not speak a word to me. Oh she just walked by me and give me like that Luigi death glare from Mario Kart. And, and it doesn't end there because for the next few months, anytime Jane and Pam would see me like out in public with a bunch of our friends around, they would always address me as Ice Boy. So they'd be like, hey Ice Boy, what's up? And all of our friends are like, why the heck are y'all calling him Ice Boy? No reason. <laughs> Now, I never did see 100% if Pam was actually recording me. However, comma, if that Ice Boy footage ever gets uploaded to YouTube, I'm gonna need y'all's help to flag it. If you ever, you don't even watch it, just like flag it ASAP Rocky. Because if it ever got uploaded and went viral, that could be bad. So I reacted to the video, and I have to say, it's uh, pretty, pretty good. And this is a great channel. No, you guys should check it out. I'm, I'm going to try to put his channel in the in the description. I never really did it before. I'm probably gonna fail at it, but please check out his channel. He's a great YouTuber. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, see you in the next video.